I found a disease that no one has ever seen. Repetitive head trauma chokes the brain. Knowing what we know today in science, centuries of work by very intelligent people, there is no justifiable reason whatsoever why any child under the age of 18 should continue to play the high impact, high contact collision sports. The big six are American football, ice hockey, mixed martial arts, rugby, boxing, and wrestling. For the less contact, less impact sports like soccer, there should not be any heading below the age of 18. 18 is when you become an adult, when your brain becomes fully developed. And children under the ages of 12 to 14 shouldn't play soccer as we play today. Because soccer is a high dexterity sport. And it's a sport that requires very high levels of visual spatial coordination. Children don't have that. That is why concussion rates are very high in soccer amongst children. So we should develop a less dribble, less contact type of soccer for children. Then lacrosse. I don't think any child under 18 should play lacrosse. Lacrosse has the highest levels of concussions amongst all sports. Children should play the non-contact, non-impact sports. Track and field, swimming, table tennis, lawn tennis, badminton volleyball, basketball. There are so many of them. If you visit the International Olympics Committee website, the non-contact sports will give your child everything ice hockey, football, or rugby would give your child, but even more. The non-contact sports will protect your child's intelligence. The high-impact, high-contact sports expose your child to repeated blows of the head and repeated blows of the head over time, with or without suffering a concussion, with or without a helmet, destroys your child's mind and takes away your child's intelligence. You told your story in this book, Truth Doesn't Have a Side. Yes. So what is your message today? I spent almost one year writing this book to help each and every parent answer that question. Do I love sports? Do I love football? Do I love ice hockey? Or do I love rugby more than I love my child? Easy question to answer. No sports will supersede the love of a parent for their child. You. Yet, you see how some children will have that passion. I want to play American football. I want to play rugby. You know, if we come back to football, just very briefly, are there some positions within the game that are less dangerous? Or are there some ways that Children can play but can be protected no. better? You, okay. uh, we cannot make football safe. Thank you for what you've just said. And it, there's a chapter in the book about the, your question. If your child runs to you, Mommy, 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 I want a smoky stick of cigarette, please! What would you tell your child? No. Because smoking a cigarette could be harmful for your child. But if that child calls, oh, mommy, mommy, I want to play football, please. You put on a helmet on his head, send him out to a field to suffer concussions. I think a lot of it also has to do with the lack of the education and information. People don't know. Parents don't know. It's not intentional in many cases. And that is why this book is a must read for each and every parent. Because if your child's brain is damaged tomorrow, your response shouldn't be, I did not know. Mm. I've sacrificed too much, so much of my life and career to get to where we are today. It's a compelling story. I read the book and uh, it's really incredible. Just to touch on your personal journey, you wanted to be a pilot, you became a doctor because you, you wanted to please your dad, you became a pathologist because you didn't know what else to do in, med in the field of medicine. Yes. I gave a commencement speech in Ireland to the Royal Colleges of Surgeons. And in my speech, I said to the graduating class, success is not guaranteed in life. What is guaranteed in life is failure. Failure, shortcomings, inadequacies, insufficiencies is guaranteed. But what will make you successful is your ability to convert your failure into success. Along my journey of life, I encountered numerous uncountable failures and hurdles. 
So what I did was I embraced those failures, it's okay, but turned them around and created successes from them, created value from them. So my, the message is, no matter who you may be, where you are, you fail. It's okay to fail. Don't beat upon yourself. Embrace it. Walk with it. Turn it around. That was all I did at various stages of my life. I, I would fail. I'll embrace it. I'll turn it around.